Hello ladies and gentlemen, KV here, and we are back here in Celestia. Um, I did a few things. Um, I actually am level 48, as you could see. Um, sorry I showed it really fast, but I, I just said I was 48. Alright, so, um, a few things that I want to take note of, or you guys should take note of. Um, I did go get Stormlord, and I also did, um, also get my Storm Pet. Which is Stormzilla, which is right here. I'm not going to use it um, just because it's not trained and um, I really don't need to use it. But I do have it and if you're level 48, make sure you go get that. Um, there is a video up on my channel so you could go ahead and watch that. And I keep looking everywhere. <laughs> okay, so we need to go ahead and do this. Um... Definitely go watch that, you know, leave your likes over there. Um, it really means a lot when you guys like the video. So make sure you like this one too. Spread the word. Alright, anyways. So, um, we need to go ahead and go to the second area of this place, I guess, of uh, Celestia. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, Storm Lord is good because um, it does stun, as you can see. And yeah, that's always good. So, yeah, we're back. Um, final here. Um, I did talk about side questing um, in the side questing videos, but for those of you guys who want to know, I'll probably do uh, Mushu side quest uh, later, or every so often I'll do some side questing there. Um, but yeah, for now, we're just gonna do Celestia. Um, Pretty much, that's gonna be the primary focus of things. So yeah, that will be that. Um, need to make sure I keep marking stuff. All right, so here we are. You follow West's instructions and make a rubbing of the inscriptions on the strange stone tablet. All right, so that is that. So we need to go ahead and go back to the camp. And if I could go ahead and mark this really fast. Um, because I'm definitely gonna have to be back here if I re remember correctly. Um, there's no new armor changes. All, all the armor I have is the same. Um, should, I should, um, note that. But, like I said, I'll probably show if it's a minor, um, change in armor. Then I'll show it at the end of the video. But for a major one, I'll just do, uh, like a level, whatever. Um, the next level we're gonna be is level 50. Um. Well, we change our armor and actually um, have different armor, so that will be that. All right, so we're back over here. Let's go ahead and speak to you. Hello. Very nice work there. I should be able to translate this in a jiffy. I think I have it. If I had only thought to bring a copy of the Stone of Mazaroth, then I'd be sure of the translation. That said, I believe the tablet confers some sort of water-breathing ability upon those who touch it and read the instructions. The words are in ancient Celestian, but as a wizard, you should have no trouble remembering strange incantations in ancient languages. Alright, so breathing room. Let's go ahead and teleport back over there. Uh, like I said, we're going to have to go back over here. And now we should be able to use it and we should be able to breathe on the water. You speak the Celestian words and as you do, you feel a strange change coming over you. The feeling soon passes and you feel normal again. Alright, sorry about that. Somebody just came to my door was... They rang the doorbell and um, for whatever reason, um, I usually don't get the door. Um, just because, like if I was expecting somebody, like I'll get a text from somebody or they'll call me like, Hey, I'm going over to your house. Alright, cool. No worries. I'll be waiting for you. But, like, I never get the door if I'm not expecting somebody. Um. Also, I forgot to change the settings. Um. Whoops. Yeah, so if I don't expect somebody to come to my house, like, I'm not going to answer the door because I don't know who it is. And usually it's people trying to sell me something, which... You know, I don't mind listening to them, but come on, all right. You think I have money to buy stuff I don't need? No. Um, but for whatever, for whatever reason, the person who was at the door, like they rang the door twice, or they rang the bell twice rather. They rang it once, and it was just like a regular ring. 
But the second time, you could hear like it, like they, ding dong, like they hold it for a little bit longer. And then after that, like I went to go check who it was, and I didn't, um, I didn't recognize who it was. So like I'm not gonna open the door for somebody I don't know who it is, because obviously that's dangerous. So don't open the door if there's like any children. Watching, don't open the door for strangers. Don't even go to the door. Just leave the door alone. Um, but anyways, so he like banged on the door like, open up. And that's not cool, bruh. I was like, really? Who do you think you are? You could just go to somebody's house and just like try to knock down the door. That's like, psh, I'm going to call the cops and you. This is not, it's not, that's not how I roll, dude. Because like, psh, you, you never know. Somebody's trying to break into your house. You definitely call the cops for that. I didn't call the cops because they went away, but... Psh, no, that's way too sketchy. Don't even try to do this right now. Anyways. Um, anyways, for anybody that's home, you know, definitely be safe. Uh, don't answer the door ever unless you know who it is and you're expecting somebody. But always look out to see who it is. You know, definitely be safe. Don't be... Don't just open the door for anybody. Anyways, so now we're back here. There you go. You should be able to go anywhere down here, dome or no, without risk of drowning. Even though the Celestians devised a means of breathing underwater, they still weren't able to save their world. Pity that. We can't thank you enough for your assistance. You came at a time when things are at their worst. In the time since Plunkett sent the distress call, things for our expedition went from bad to much, much worse. As you might have sussed out, we're still reeling from the recent crustacean incursion. We did nothing to provoke them either. Is there any way you can go to the grotto and speak with Rupert Fleming? He and his team suffered the brunt of the attack. All right, the grotto. So, oh, whoops. Um... I probably should do that really fast. Um, just give me a sec, like super duper fast. I'm not gonna cut this out because it's like super duper fast. <laughs> Sounds funny. Super duper fast. All right. Bang. All right. So, to do, see, I'm already done. You didn't even notice what I was doing. I didn't do anything. That's why. All right. So, um. Oops. Boom boom bop boom boom bop bop. All right, I'll stop that. All right, so do 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 the, the grotto. Um, did I mark it? No, I did not. All right. Uh, my monitor is kind of in the way, so I can't. <coughs> ah, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I always have to sneeze in my videos. I don't know. Excuse me. I know. Jeez. <laughs> That's. <coughs> Ow, that one actually kind of hurt it. Um. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. Something. <laughs> that happens. Can't control it. All right. So now we're gonna go be able to go underwater. I should go also um, activate this. Um, I know I don't activate them all the time, but still. All right. So now we get to go underwater. Water. First time we actually ever get to go underwater. Um, besides for Crab Alley, of course. So I guess second time technically. Um. We're gonna have to go back to Crab Alley eventually because we need to do something over there. Even though I. Oh no. Even though I already uh, finished Crab Alley and also already have. Uh... Well, we'll talk about that later. Why we need to go back there. Alright, so we have this. Um... This guy. Yo. Rupert. I don't remember you from the airship. How did you get down here? How did you get down here? We were captured by the crustaceans, but the whole experience has turned into quite an education. None of us are much when it comes to fisticuffs, and those crustaceans were more than we can handle. They put us in these cages, so we chose to spend our time observing their culture firsthand. Still, that only goes so far. Can you go and thrash some crustacean claw cutters and see if you can find some clues about what they're up to? Sure thing, buddy. 
Alright, so we need to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and not mark it. Alright, so they are Storm. I'm gonna go ahead and have some converts, which I already have. I'll go ahead and put my other pet on, which has more Storm resist. It only has so much more. It has 54, but 54 is better than none. Um, I guess I could go ahead and just um, wing it to a certain extent. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into this battle. I believe this is the first time we actually... Um, get into a battle with these guys, so then we're gonna have to put a convert. And oh, I was gonna say that I fizzle that, that would have been bad. All right, um, we need another convert, which I got, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard that. Um, if I could get a power pip, that'd be great. Um, just go ahead and discard that. All right, another convert. Um, will my attack be enough? I don't think that it will. Um, because since I was Storm before, like, I'll probably think it's going to be enough because I'm used to the high attacks from my other Storm. So, I'd rather play it safe than sorry. I'll probably have to do a blade. But, knowing my luck, I'm going to get a new pip right now. And I am wrong. No, I was right. I told you. I told you. Alright, so I'll go ahead and give myself this blade. Not that it matters. I could have given myself the pet blade and it would have did the same effect. Alright. So. Dude, storm I think we're doing pretty good on Celestia so far. Um, I mean, I know we just started, but I think we're doing a pretty good on it. Oh, and we have somebody joining the battle. Hello. Which is not that big of a deal because I could go ahead and take them out. But you are live. Okay. So. I need another convert. Um, and this is why I changed realms. I'm going to have to change realms because. Really? This guy's healing. Thanks, guy. Just come into this battle and heal yourself. That's so selfish. Alright, if I could get Stormlord, that would be great. See. Well. Technically, I need to fight three, so it's not that big of a deal, but I think I'm collecting stuff, so it's kind of a big deal. Um, but nevertheless, I'll just go ahead and finish this battle, and then I'll cut ahead, um, because I'm probably going to have to collect stuff, and you guys don't want to watch me fight um, too much battles again. And it, I'm trying to make this, like, a thousand times more enjoyable, so you guys can watch the whole video without getting too bored. Um... Come on, pass. Do something. Jeez. Jeez. And crackers. Oh, okay. Have I even got attacked? I did get attacked. Is that... I got that full... I got that half. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I got a lot of storm resist. Good, 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 good. I can't wait till we actually get better armor and we actually start going to different worlds. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Celestia. But... Oh, he's actually healing me. Um... But, like, I'm excited for the new worlds. Well, technically, they're not new, but I'm excited to go to the other worlds and, you know, do that part of the series. And, you know, the series is really fun. Alright, so, I could go ahead and do Stormlord, Stormlord, Stormlord. Pfft. Wow, I clicked on it, like, three times. And it wasn't going, it wasn't taking it. Bum, 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 bum. So I pretty much blocked the second person, but I'm doing it solo, so the second person is not technically supposed to be there. And we have somebody else that joins the battle. Lovely. Alright, I'm so... Like, I don't want nobody's help! No offense to anybody that wants to help me, but I'm trying to do it solo, and it would be better if I do it solo. I know a lot of people want me to do stuff solo, so... Like, I'm trying to do it solo, but... I can't help that people are coming. I need to change realm so nobody comes. Like, don't get me wrong. I know I'm going to need help in the future, but I'm trying to solo as much things as I can for you guys. For you guys. <sighs> Why did you have to come? Hmm. <sighs> This guy's just healing. Stop healing. Attack. How did you even get hurt? Have they even been attacking you? Wow. 
Dude, take him out. Take him out. It would have been cool if they weren't stormed too. That would be better. So this battle would have been faster, but this would have been finished like half the time. But since these guys came, it's taking twice as long. So, okay. Love this. Wow. Just attack. Don't heal. Come on. Okay, I understand to a certain extent it's good to have a life. But you don't need to heal. Look at that. He has almost full health and he's healing. He's, he could have attacked. Like, even a leprechaun would have done something. See? Is that even necessary? To get a full heal like that? When there's not even a point. Why are you giving me the blades? You, you should have attacked. I don't have a convert. This is horrible teamwork. This is horrible teamwork. I'm not saying these guys are bad, but... Come on, we need to we need to talk this out. The life guy should have been attacking. Everybody should have been attacking. Just get rid of this last guy. How did that? Oh, it was a faint. Still, did he have no resist? That was weak sauce. All right, I need to definitely change realms. Come on, I'm trying to do the solo. Solo. And I got one. Lovely. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut ahead these battles. I'm gonna firstly change realms. I'll go to Scarecrow. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the rest of this um, battle and then we'll be, or battles, and we will be back um, to speak to Rupert Fleming. So I'll see you guys when I get back. All right, so we are back, and let's go ahead and speak to Rupert. Um, I got some, I got a few items. Um, again, I, I'll try to show them if I remember, but most of the time I don't. Anyways, good work. You gathered a piece of coral, a piece of crab harness, and a carved bit of stone that looks like it came from a puzzle. Let's see if we can put these clues together, shall we? The story these clues tell is that the crustaceans are up to something in the coral caverns. It's a dangerous, sprawling place filled with wild sea life. I'm not about to enter those caverns. I wouldn't last a minute. It's a dangerous maze with at least a dozen types of coral. Can you try and find the origin of the piece of coral you found? All right, coral story. So, um... Uh, okay. I actually don't remember this one. I guess I'm gonna to have to go around looking for coral. Um, is it this big one? No, I'm just kidding. Um, hmm. Actually, don't. Oops. I actually don't remember doing this one. Um, coral. Where's this one actually at? No, it's somewhere here. I guess I just have to go around looking for it. Uh Huh. Weird. Okay. Wait. I was gonna say that huh. You know this one's actually a good one. I don't remember where these are at. I don't know, but you you guys have to cut me a little bit of slack because I haven't done this in years. I haven't done this in less than years. Um if I could actually find a coral coral. Huh. Weird. Weird indeed. Maybe it's this way. I want to say it's over here. Oh, I thought that was something. Wow, I totally do not know where I'm going. Help. <clears throat> Weird. Where is the a pearl? I honestly don't even remember where they are at. Alright, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh, wait, I think it's over here. If I'm not mistaken. 
which I am mistaken. No, oh, this one right here. All right, there we go. Um. Man, this is totally... Oh, there's another one? They're so dark. Okay, I see them now. I see another one. I passed one. I'll probably get that in comments. Oh, you passed one, KB! Oh, thanks. You know, you should have watched the whole video before you comment. <laughs> it. I see that happen a lot. Like, um, in my videos, like, people would comment. But they didn't finish watching the video. Alright, let's just go ahead and change realms to Pixie. Pixie! Alright, and then we got that. Alright, let's go ahead and speak to Rupert, and then we'll go ahead and end up this video. You found the source? Hmm, let me take a look at the coral again. Oh no, see those scorch marks? That area is frequented by Voltic Eels. If I might care to guess, you're here seeking a means of opening the Stellarium portal back at Celestia Base Camp, right? I suspect that the Crustaceans have taken said portal piece to the Voltic Eel Cave, based on the evidence you've collected. The logical conclusion, then, is that you must go there and see if our theory is correct, and that the portal piece is there. You observe, make a theory, and then test that theory. It is the scientific method in action. Alright, so, shocking news. Alright, so that's going to go ahead and be it for this video. Make sure you guys follow everything that is down in the description. Um, make sure you guys like the video. And make sure you favorite it too. And until the next video. make bleh, Until the next video of Celestia. Um, we're kind of close to leveling up. Um, we'll probably maybe do that in the next video. Um, but until the next video. I have been KV and I am out. Peace!